Signing and recalling thousands of soldiers, man has turned to the machine. Take the process of recalling reserve officers. The Department of the Army classification cards for several hundred military personnel may be placed in the classification sheet, and in the space of a few seconds, the person best suited for a specific assignment will be selected. Once the officer is selected, the recall procedure is swift and unerring. <laughs> Oh, what? Uh, Tommy, you got anything there for me? Yeah, here's a telegram, Mr. Sterling. Telegram? I hope there's nothing wrong with Ann Ethel. She's not feeling very well. Yeah. Oh, good. It's not from Ann Ethel. It's from Washington. D.C. Gee, who do you know in Washington? Oh, connection. It's connection. Well, hey, I won't go! I won't go! Bad news, Mr. Sterling? Like a, I, I'm a retread. You're a what? A retread. They're, they're, they're in the army. They're going back in the army. She are things that bad? Yeah. I, they, they can't do this to me. They can't do this to me. If they want me, they're going to have to come and get me. That's all. They're going to have to come and get me. I, no, I won't go. You wait and see. You, they, they won't hang me. You wait and see. I won't go. <laughs> my own branch of the service. No postcard, no navy, no air force for me. No bullets, torpedoes, or ACAC. The branch of the service in which I would be. I want to enlist in the wax. Hey, Francis! Francis! It, it's me! Hi, Francis! Hey, Francis! Hey, Francis! It's me! It's me, Petey! Oh, oh. Hey, wait, wait, don't, don't go away! Wait, wait, wait! No, really, I, I... He's the prettiest soldier I've ever seen. Or... My back. Will you? Wait a second. Oh, 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 oh
I'm not very sorry about it. Are you all right, Captain? Oh, oh fine, just fine. No, really, just an accident, really. Oh. I'm, I'm terribly sorry about it. I mean, oh. I, 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 Captain, I, really, I'm, I'm very sorry. I, no, really, I guess no any sergeant at ease. Okay, Lieutenant, okay, I saw the whole thing. Well, then you know it was an accident. Sure, but you got to leave the girl some pride, Lieutenant, some pride. Corporal McDonald, take care of your transportation, Lieutenant. Well, thank you. Oh, my, my, my luggage, sir, I guess. Oh, we'll get it. The white captain hasn't chewed it up. And the prettiest soldier I've ever seen. Oh! <laughs> Just a minute, ma'am. Uh, I was told I could get transportation to... Now, please, don't crowd in. The ladies first. What happened to her? Where'd that whack go? What whack? Look, I'm Lieutenant Peter Sterling. Do you mind? Hey there, yes, Lieutenant. All in one piece. He, uh, wants transportation. Well, give it to him. You're trying to give these to the Jeep driver behind the station. He'll take it to your outfit. Thank you. I thought I'd seen everything. Papers seem to be in order. Washington sent them. George or Martha? <laughs> Being transferred in. A woman must be a highly secret assignment. Sure must be. I sir. This is it, Lieutenant. Thank you very much. Wonder what kind of work it is. It shouldn't be hard to take. Female personnel. Small ones, too. All sizes. Uh, this organization is at, uh, is at, uh, uh, no, couldn't be. Something bothering you, Lieutenant? Huh? Well, it looks like a whack area. It should. It is. Oh, is that so? The wax! Being a wax! The wax! What's going on here? You, you, you wait here. I've got a, what's... Good afternoon, Lieutenant. Sightseeing? I would like some information. My name is Lieutenant Serling. What? Oh. For a minute there, you had me. We were expecting someone by that name. A camouflage expert. Well, my name is Serling, but uh, I don't know anything about camouflage. Of course it's not you. You're Lieutenant Peter Sterling. Yes, that's right. We were expecting a bunny Sterling. Who is the camouflage expert? Oh, may I talk to you, Commanding Officer, please? Yes. Lieutenant Sterling has arrived. Oh, wonderful. I'll be with her in a minute. Her? I told you we were expecting Lieutenant Sterling. Yeah, well, not me, you weren't. Welcome to the WAC. <laughs> Anything wrong? Well, there seems to be a mistake, Major. Mistake? What do you mean? Did the new officer report in? That's her. Him. He? He's not a she. Oh, good afternoon, Major. Do you mind stepping into my office, Lieutenant? What's going on, Captain? I was about to ask that same question. He's your retread, Major Simpson. He? Lieutenant Sterling. 
Peter's. Now I understand why our retread wasn't on that train. A terrible mistake has been made. They sent us a, a man? Good heavens, I certainly stipulated I wanted a whack officer. I guess the words overseas experience confused them. Make out a request for transfer and get him out of this area. Check post headquarters. They can put him up until we get rid of him. Yes, Major. Well, Lieutenant, how does it feel to be a whack? Now, just a minute. This, this is a mistake. A bit, isn't it? I'm afraid you don't quite fit our physical standard. Well, naturally not. A <laughs> man of the wax. <laughs> what do you mean by that? I just meant it's funny, that's all. If there's anything funny about it, it's some of you men who make it so. Despite your amusement, we prefer to think of women in uniform as a serious business. If I didn't mean... Your masculine ego refuses to admit that, that the Women's Army Corps can serve any place but in kitchens or for clerical work. Isn't that so? I didn't say that. That's what you meant. Lieutenant Sterling, the moment you've been assigned to us, thinking it over, it... It might be very nice to have a man around the company. You're all about that. Yes, part. yes, to help us helpless women. As a hardened combat vet, you'll no doubt put us poor women to shame, but uh, we'll try to keep up with you. Now, now, now really, sir, I got no, madam. I mean, I'm captain. I, I, th I think the wax are wonderful. They're just wonderful. In their place. In our place? Yes, in your place, I think you're just... Yes, Corporal Hillstrom. Coast fillers are all filled, man. Well, guest bungalow six is unoccupied. You can put him in there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what does she mean, uh-oh? Is anything wrong? No, ma'am. Not yet. But it's a start. Okay, well, but what, what did she mean? Need I explain? Yeah, huh? Well, Lieutenant, in the course of your duties with us, you will be in contact with the women of this battalion. You will avoid any incident. Any incident? Oh, good heavens, Lieutenant. You had combat in Burma. Weren't there any Burmese girls there? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, they used to sell us things. I can imagine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I used to take some of them home with me. You did? Oh, yes. The cutest little wood carving. You know, those little, little, little monkeys. You may go now, Lieutenant. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, where? You will be assigned the duties of a whack officer. You mean I'm a whack? Until you've had a change of assignment, yes. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. no yes, Miss. I did. A whack. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. 
They needed a guinea pig to try their injections. So, shake hands with a guinea pig. Well, I'm sorry, Francis. Yeah, but you are going to help me out, aren't you? Well, I won't be able to sit for a while, and I hate to stand around doing nothing. Oh, thanks, Francis. Thanks a million. <laughs> oh, Pete, cut that out. <laughs> What's that? Sounds like we treat to me. Well, you can. No, uh, excuse me, is there, uh, is something wrong? We heard voices. You're supposed to be alone. Oh, well, there was no one here but me. That's what we were told. Oh, uh, uh, believe me, there's no one in it. What about this? And there's no one in that either. Now, uh, if I need you, I'll call you. I will, I'll call you. Francis. Francis. That's bungalow six, Lieutenant. Thanks, Sergeant. But are you sure the OD didn't say quarter six? She said six something. I'll worry about it tomorrow when I'm not so sleepy. Night. What was, what was the first one? Then you admit there was a second. Yeah, well, no, ma'am. I just thought the second one was the first one. Well, we won't discuss the order of your romances. You were distinctly heard speaking to someone before Lieutenant Dixon arrived. Who was the other girl? But it wasn't any girl. It had to be a girl. There are hundreds of them stationed in this area. Nothing but girls. And not one girl was in my bubble. Not, not one. What about Lieutenant Dixon? Yeah, well, 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 I was there before she was. I didn't give you the privilege of making advances to her. Well, why, I, I didn't. Why, I, I didn't. Don't tell me she screamed because you didn't make advances. Yes, ma'am. I mean, no, ma'am. I mean, I, I don't know what I mean. If your motives were so pure, why didn't you immediately contact the OD and notify her of the mistake? Well, I couldn't. The lieutenant was getting undressed. You, you saw her undressing? No, ma'am. I shut my eyes. Then how do you know she was getting undressed? Yeah, well, I don't know. I, I just, just thought she might be. That's all. I, well, you get to get in bed. You got you to gotta, gotta take your clothes off to get in the bed, don't you? I, oh, I'm all confused. I shouldn't wonder. 
Lieutenant Sterling, your records arrived here this afternoon. They were very interesting. Did he help touch? What did you say? I, I didn't say anything. If you get stuck, you can spend the night with me in the stable. Lieutenant, you must fancy yourself a veritable Don Juan. Oh, no, no, not me. I know your type, Lieutenant. To get into trouble and try to talk yourself into a psycho ward. You've been in trouble before. <laughs> Twenty-seven times in neuropsychiatric retention. That's really gold-bricking. Well, I tried to tell them. I can see right here what you tried to tell them. That a mule talked to you. They didn't believe me. And neither would I. So don't pull any of that mule hanky-panky around here. Yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. Uh, yes, ma'am. For lack of clear-cut evidence, I will not press charges against you. But let me make one thing quite plain. Until you are transferred out, you're a whack officer. You will think as we do and do as we do. Everything? Everything. leader is ill. You may fall in there. to drop the second platoon out of the camouflage operation entirely rather than risk their making a bad show it. We can't go in with just two platoons. General K and all of G3 know we've been training a full company in camouflage. How would it look if we admitted failure? Our cause would be lost before we started. Three and four and five and six and seven and eight. And what 
What's the matter, Lieutenant? Out of condition? Yeah, no, no back injury. Looks as if a new one has been added. Well, you see, when I took my basic training, we'd have to be acrobats. Oh, I see. Uh, you men went in for the rugged things, no doubt. Oh, yes. Obstacle course and that sort of thing. You know, scale that wall, jump that hurdle, and, and climb that landing net. You mean confidence course, Lieutenant. We wax don't use it. Yeah, well, it is pretty strenuous. It wasn't meant for women. I'm sure the women would appreciate it if you'd show them how it's done sometime. Fine. Maybe I could even get a few volunteers to help you. Wonderful. Me? Yes, you, Lieutenant. Fall in. Oh, yes. Yes, I am. Uh, I just misjudged the hiking. Oh, well. Well, 
No, that's not all I misjudge. You act so terrific. You know, I have to admit that it really wasn't very fair. You see, Private Wilson was an Olympic champion. Oh. Well, I'm glad to know that she's human. I thought she might be a new secret weapon. Oh. Here. Here, lean on my shoulder. Oh, thank you. I'm uh, glad to know you whack officers are human, too. What do you mean? Well, I thought you were as hard as nails. You're really very soft underneath. I, I mean, I mean underneath. Uh, 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 way, way underneath. Uh, the, the, the real you. That, that's, that's what I mean. Our complexities won't pass on you much longer, Lieutenant. I, I'm sure Major Simpson will expedite your transfer. Oh, I'm not a bit puzzled. I understand why you're all so sensitive. I suppose General K's attitude does get you on edge. What do you know about General K? Oh, I sure hope you surprise him when you have your big camouflage operation. <laughs> hey, Captain Parker. You know, I, I, Captain Parker, I've got a wonderful idea. Now that we're friends, what do you say we both go to the post dance together tonight? Huh? Uh, Francis was right. Every whack is a woman. Except me. But it's impossible. General K just informed us of the field operation. No one knows about it here but you and me. And General K. The old fox. I didn't think he'd stoop to it, but the evidence leads to only one conclusion. Lieutenant Sterling was sent here by General K. To snoop. Check. The mistake was no mistake. General K had Sterling assigned here by plan. Very clever of him to send a spy who looks and acts like, like a schlemiel. Well, if it's fight the old double-crosser wants, we'll play his game his way. How? We'll try to keep Lieutenant Sterling here. What? General K insists we conduct our field demonstration with a full company, but the morale status of the second platoon is such that it leaves us only one course, to leave them out of the operation. But you said he wears an awful holler. Not if we can blame the condition of that platoon on a man. His man? Send him in. Lieutenant. At ease. Well, Lieutenant, seems we have a mutual friend. Who do we? I didn't know. General K. Oh, no, I, I think you're mistaken, ma'am. At least I don't know him personally. Oh, you knew he was coming here to review a camouflage demonstration. Yeah. Well, I, uh, I didn't think it was any harm. I, uh... I did happen to mention to Captain Parker that... Then you did get the word from General K. Oh, no, ma'am. I got it from... Uh, well, you wouldn't believe me. Don't tell me you got it from that mule. Well, yes. How did you know? Strangely enough, Lieutenant, your answer quite satisfies me. Oh, <laughs> well, fine. <laughs> Lieutenant Sterling, I have decided to make you the camouflage instructor for the second platoon of Company C. Oh, uh, me an instructor for the for, for a whack platoon? I'm sure since you're a man, you won't have any trouble whipping him into shape. Congratulations, Lieutenant Sterling, and good luck. Man coming! Man coming! Some of you women may be aware that we were to be joined by an officer with experience in combat conditions. Through some error, Lieutenant Sterling was assigned. Until he is transferred, he will undertake duties as your platoon camouflage instructor. A man in the wet? What is this? That's for me. You take orders from a man. But he's so cute. What? Well, Lieutenant, they're all yours. Take over. I just don't believe it. Well, it's true. Now, uh, I'm supposed to whip your girls into shape. You supposed to what? Yes, that's right. I'm supposed to whip your girls into shape. Now, I want order and I want discipline. There will be no shirking of duty. Now, when I say fall out, I mean fall out. And when it comes time to fall out, we fall out and very fast. Fall out now, fast. Platoon, I tell you, set. I said attention. We are at attention, sir. You are? Yes, sir. Pennies! I said at ease. I am at ease, sir. You are? Yes, sir.
Men? Hey, man, ladies? Now, we've all got a job to do. We've got to be on the ball. Right? Right. Right? Let's have a little close order drill. Platoon, attain tut. Show's back. Chuck in your, uh... They're pulling your, uh... Uh, pull out your, uh... Betty! My fall out. Fall out! Lieutenant, we can't fall out from an Addie's position. You always know what's right when I'm wrong, don't you? <clears throat> Platoon, attain tut. I'll be ready to buck for Rear Admiral. Yeah, I'm sorry, Francis. Is there anything I can do? I've often wondered. I can take anything they can dish out. Well, I think we're both getting a bad deal. I am officially in the wax. Heaven help the wax. Now, this is no time to joke. What are we going to do? I, I can't get any place with those girls. Maybe they're a little choosy. Yeah. Oh, you know what I mean. I brushed up on my manual of arms, Back. my close order drill, yeah. etc., etc. That should endear you to them. <laughs> uh oh. Here comes old aspirin tablet. Yeah. Who? <laughs> Have you got a surprise coming? Oh, boy. <laughs> oh. Good morning, you dear little animal. Here's some breakfast, you horrid little thing. Oh, and in Uncle Wiggly, a big fat carrot for you. And Rosalind. Look what Nursey brought you. A banana. Well, I need it later. Just take it and leave it later. Peggy, look what I brought you. Some nice, fresh peanuts. Good morning, Lieutenant. Good morning, Lieutenant. Oh, no. Well, you couldn't be. No, I'm not. I'm not. Honestly, I'm not. No, I, I mean, uh, one I met in Burma, it was in a psychopathic horn. Oh, but that's, that was somebody else entirely. <laughs> yes, he was always weaving baskets. Is that so? Crazy as a loon, huh? A real idiot. Oh, the cutest little idiot you ever saw. <laughs> he talked to a mule. So, of course, you couldn't. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Uh, this, uh, this mule isn't a friend of yours, is he? Yeah, they, they, oh, well, of course not. I, I just came in to see the monkeys. Oh, uh, no, no insinuations oh, implied. Of course that. not. No. Let's see, you poor dumb little beast. No reaction whatsoever. Here, take your temperature. Mm -hmm. Stick it in that dear little mouth of yours. Up, up. There you go. Oh, there's butter. Oh, pretty strange. No brains, no feeling. You shouldn't have said that. He drank a whole bottle of alcohol yesterday. Now, you dear little mule, I'm going to start you on your pills. I hope you take them nicely. <laughs> No, I... Old battle axe. Pills. Takes a pill to no pill. Mm -hmm. Remember that old saddlebag? Mm -hmm. Lieutenant Valerie Humphrey. Do I remember her? Burma. Mm -hmm. She nursed me through four sieges of basket weaving. Uh -huh. Look, things are getting worse. We just got to get out of here. Sure. Your old cousin has a plane. I knew you'd come up with something. Nice. Now get this. 
Do your wife, you got a woman. Rank or file, they're female first and last, right? Yeah, I guess so. All right. You can't win a woman unless you wore. You know, a whole platoon, you only wore a whole platoon. Precisely. Yeah, but I'm not very strong yet. Have you got 30 bucks? Maybe I'm live. Well, there's a special sale on cologne. It's Piet Cologne. It's called Night in the Casbah. Night in the Casbah? Yeah. You mean the entire platoon? But of course. You are such a boy. No. Get going and check with me. Oh, a whole platoon. That's 25 to 1. You're the odds on favorite. Uh-uh. Uh -oh. Oh, no, not that. Now, you must take your pill, you naughty little mule. This great big pill. Now, open wide, up with a little mouth. That's right, put it in for nursing. There, now, just one big blow. <laughs> you all right, Lieutenant? You all right? You all right? What's this night in the Casbah bit? Huh? Oh, uh, it's uh, just a gift. Are you as innocent as you look? Well, well, I really had an ulterior motive. You see, I, I want you girls to like me. You mean, you mean you gave cologne to everybody in the platoon? Yeah, don't you like it? <laughs> I think it's wonderful. You know, if I had a kid brother, I'd like him to be just like you. I... Oh, Lieutenant! Lieutenant! Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, Lieutenant! You shouldn't have. <laughs> This is against regulations. Sorry, Captain. It was just a slip of the hand. Well, I expect you to be more careful next time. Yes, ma'am. I'll be extra careful next time. <laughs> Lieutenant Sterling. Yes, ma'am. You were out of order. Maybe yet, ma'am. Well, my aim, my aim is a better discipline. Sound a little more convincing if you wipe that lip rouge off your mouth. Oh. I know that's Paul Wilson took me by surprise. Life seems to be full of surprises. How do you figure that? Lieutenant Sterling seems to be trying awfully hard. Lieutenant Sterling, there's more to this than meets the eye. Lieutenant four. Sterling is to be commended for what? Left double crossing us? He lifted that second platoon five. right out of their slot Left and made us a target for ridicule. Left. What do you think General Kay will say about this? A man helped us out. We couldn't do it, but a man could. Ma'am, General Kay is waiting for you at battalion headquarters. General Kay? Yeah. But he hasn't do in until tomorrow. Let's go lovely, lovely late. I'm going to settle that Lieutenant Sterling's hash right now. See you later. Aww. Major, you might think that I'm a stubborn mule. Just because a few of your women have developed into adequate camouflage specialists, it doesn't mean that you can flood the service with them. We've known each other a long time, General, and I've... I'd even like to think of us as being good friends, Louise, but these wild ideas of yours... Then may I have your permission to speak freely? Uh. 
Just because you believe women are fit only to be typewriter jockeys and telephone operators doesn't mean that national defense should be jeopardized. We've done pretty well up to now. You only have to do badly once. Louise, you've got a one-track mind, and I consider it my duty to prove you wrong. And I find your methods as misguided as your view. My method is beyond reproach. I've gone to great lengths to arrange this demonstration. Not even greater lengths to disrupt our morale and snoop. And what? Why haven't you approved Lieutenant Sterling's transfer out of this whack assignment? I know what you're talking about. Who is this Lieutenant Sterling, and why should you want her transferred? Lieutenant Sterling is not a her, it's a him. A uh, him? As if you didn't know. Here? Yes, a uh, Matahari in men's clothing, sent here to carry out his general's orders, General. Then there are many things on which we don't see eye to eye. But up to now, I have never questioned your ethics or sportsmanship. Now, Louise, if you assume... For the mere fact that you had to stoop to this sort of procedure to try and beat us is proof of our superior skill and ability. Major, it might be a good idea for you to use some of your smart camouflaging on that sharp tongue when you're addressing a superior officer. I'm sorry, Louise. This is the first I've heard about all this. Naturally, if there's been a mistake, I'll rectify it at once. Thank you. Now about the demonstration. I've uh, selected Piney Woods as the area of operation. If uh, this is acceptable to you. A male whack. How about that? Casey Bone. Just think, in a couple of days we might be out of this mess. You sure your transfer is going through? Well, Corporal Hellstrom heard it from Captain Parker, and Captain Parker got it from Major Simpson. Happy day. I couldn't stand much more. What headquarters is doing to my hindquarters shouldn't happen in any quarter. You know, it's going to be hard saying goodbye. Yeah. Francis, do huh? you think it's possible for a guy to be in love with a whole platoon? Never heard of it outside the Marine Corps. Wants to go Marine and engage with three women. Yeah? What do you do about it? They buried him in Arlington, sharpened his heels, and drove him in. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Francis, no games. I'm tired. Attention! Now quit making like a general, you idiot. Shh, shh. Idiot, am I? I could have you broken for this, Lieutenant. <laughs> a jackass break a lieutenant? Well, that's all I have. <laughs> yes, it's a real yacht. On your feet! So are you, Lieutenant Stanley? Oh, yes, 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 sir. Looks like we're getting kind of close to the bottom of the barrel. Yes, 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 sir. Hmm. See, we hit the berm in front together. Yes? I'm General K. Oh, how do you do, sir? It is, Lieutenant. I need, I need, I need, sir. I know how you feel. Coming out of a man's arm and being pushed in with these Susies. A male whack. Oh, yes, yes, sir. I hear your little tour of duty has thrown the ladies into a tizzy. Uh, yes, sir. I mean, I know, sir. Well, I, I try to do my duty, sir. That's what I hear. That's what I want to talk to you about. Just between us, Sterling, I don't think you should overdo it. Huh? I, I, I don't understand, sir. Well, women just don't appreciate a man's superior skill and ability. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, not that it would matter, sir. I'm, I'm not going to be with him much longer. I'm being, being transferred out, I think. Am I not, sir? Yes, of course, my boy, of course. Might take a little time. I suppose this was a little advanced celebration? Oh, yes, sir. Me and Francis. Francis? Who's she? No, she's a he. Yeah, maybe he is a mule. Uh, that, that's him over there, sir. Celebrating with a mule? Yes, sir. Hmm. Personally, I have selected a sweeter smelling companion. One not so dumb. Yeah, but he's a pretty smart mule, sir. That I doubt. He reminds me of one I had in my command. We just built a temporary bridge on the Burma Road, and this stubborn creature refused to cross. Hell of the whole company. Never did get across it. Never? No, the bridge collapsed before our very eyes into a raging storm full and river. Well, maybe he was pretty smart, sir. Nah, not this one. He was just ornery, stupid. Dumbest animal I ever saw. Well, I'll leave you to your little celebration. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Get him. Come back here, Bill. I wish you'd make up your mind. I'm so mad I could blow a gasket. Naturally, I wouldn't cross that bridge. 
You mean that mule was you? Anybody could see the pulley system was faulty. The bridge is bound to collapse. Francis, you saved the whole company. Yeah, but our hero got a commendation. Never mention me. Only stupid. The old goat. Yeah, yeah, but I, I don't understand. Now, now his voice sounds exactly like yours. It was long about then I decided to be handy to be able to talk. Particularly like a general, and as long as I was in his outfit, it was a built-in gold break. Well, it sounds like nothing but trouble. Am I glad we're getting out of this? But we're not getting out. Yeah. What are you saying? we got to get out of this. Mm, Peter, my boy, we're going to stay long enough to teach that old, well, we're going to teach him a lesson. Oh, no, now you can't. Oh, you're going to become a camouflage expert. Mm. I, I refuse. I just plain refuse. Let me see. The operation will take place at Piney Wood. Now, we need a map of that area. Now, not me. Now, you leave me out of this. I don't want anything to do with maps. Actually, this is top secret, Pete. Major Simpson won't even tell Company C what route they're going to follow. Not until the night before the operation. Now, starting from Point Abel. Yeah, that's it. Company C, to be called the White Army, is going to try to move a distance of 10 miles to Point Baker. You see it there? Hello, boy. That is, without being spotted by General K's Blue Army. Both these points will be known to us and the umpire, but not to the Blue Army. Starting tomorrow, Company C goes into training on a 24-hour basis. Yeah, well, Francis, what do I know you about you? You learn, my boy. Yes, sir, you learn. Did you deploy your troops so they can be identified and signaled immediately, huh? Yes. All right, show me, show me. success. Him and his male whack, I... That's who it was, Sterling. It must have been our dear little lieutenant. Lieutenant! Lieutenant! As you were, I won't beat about the bush. I want that map. What map? The map to Piney Woods, as if you didn't know it. Don't tell me you lost it. Oh, no, ma'am, I've got it. Not that it would matter. I memorized it. Lieutenant, report to battalion headquarters immediately. Go there directly. Do not speak to anyone. Yes, ma'am. I mean, yes, sir. I mean, I mean, yes. Nothing, but nothing must jeopardize the operation. Obviously, if you went to the trouble of memorizing the map, the information on it has not yet gotten to General K. I'm going to see that it never does. Send Lieutenant Sterling in. Lieutenant Sterling. Lieutenant, I want to know what... It's not true. I'm, I'm, I'm innocent. I'm not on General K's side. We want you, Wax, to win. We, Lieutenant Sir? Yeah, we. I, I mean, I. I see. I, no, no, you don't see. Honestly, I, I see the map you stole. I didn't steal any map. Somebody did. It was borrowed. Francis wouldn't steal anything. Francis? Who's Francis? Yeah, Francis. Oh, you wouldn't believe me. Don't tell me you're going to go into that mule routine again. Yes, ma'am. All right. So there's a mule. 
A mule named Francis. Yes. I spell with an I. They're just an ordinary mule. Oh, no, he's not an ordinary mule. A mule walked into my office to borrow a Mac? Yes, ma'am. How do you know he did? He told me. Oh, yes, I forgot. He talks, too. Yeah. Well, I, I know it sounds impossible, but I, I didn't believe it myself at one time. But now you do believe he can talk? Oh, I know it. And uh, you're willing to stand by that story, Lieutenant? Definitely. Good. It makes what I have to do that much simpler. Yeah. Well, no, no, really, really, honestly, it's the truth. I swear. It is. It, it, it's the truth. I swear. It's the truth. Don't you worry about a thing. We've been through this before, Lieutenant. Yeah, and I don't want to go through it again. Just like old times. They're using our speakers again. Good afternoon, nurse. And how's our patient? Oh, just dandy, just dandy. <clears throat> You still think a mule talks to you? He certainly does. You don't have to answer for Lieutenant Sterling. You're asking our questions. Yes. That's all. Yes, you were asking. That's all. Well, I... Yes. I'll be right outside, Lieutenant. <clears throat> now, this heavy, dark mass represents your mother. My mother was a skinny blonde. You said Francis was like a mother to you. Oh, no, I said Francis was like a father to me. He helps me and advises me on everything. And you believe he could help and advise you in this situation? You mean you let me talk to him? I think it can be arranged. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. That's really good. Oh, I'm there. Oh, I'm there. I'm there. There, there. Now, be my own dear, brave little mule. I know it hurts. Oh, it hurts me worse than it does you. Oh, we gotta get cleaned up, you know. Company's coming. Yes, company. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now you wait right there and I'll fix your oats, please. Huh. I'd like to fix her oats. Hey. Hi, Francis. Uh, oh, look, I, I know you're mad at me, but, but I had to tell the truth. Uh, did he answer you? No, he gets this way, stubborn. But I'm, I'm sorry, Francis. Well, it's no use now. He won't talk to me. No, I'm sure he won't. Come, Lieutenant. Yeah, now, no hard feelings, Francis. Come up and see my painting sometime. Hello. Oh, Francis. Goodbye, cutie. The mule. Oh, you dreamt it. No, 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 he said. Well, he said. He said goodbye, cutie. Oh, look. Why don't you knock off for the rest of the day? Take it easy. Uh, maybe I'd better. A mule. <laughs> cutie! <laughs> When? Since last night. The mule? He not only spoke to me, he sounded just like General K. Like General K? Oh, you've got it real bad. You're one to talk, cutie. 
No, no, I've got it all figured out. It has to be ventriloquism. Of course. You mean Lieutenant Sterling. Well, I didn't say it was Lieutenant Sterling. I, uh, well, I could be wrong about the whole thing. It had to be Sterling. But he wasn't even there. How do we know? The medical lab is part of a hospital installation. All the buildings are grouped together. Oh, you mean it's another one of General K's morale breakers? <laughs> You gentlemen of the press will be briefed later by Major Simpson. From my point of view, I can only tell you that the operation will start at dawn tomorrow and finish <laughs> before it starts. Well, what happens if you spot them? Do you shoot them down? Heck no. We need them behind the typewriter. We're using kind of genteel ammo, squirt gun, with liquid dyes. That way we can tell which of the ladies have been spotted and disqualified. <laughs> the White Army isn't going to be white very long. Major? Pull these gentlemen to the quarters. John? See you at six in the morning, General. Uh -huh. You'll be back in the sack at seven, Jack. Good morning, Major. I hope your little army is fit and ready. <gasps> oh, yeah. I thought you were a mule like. A what? Oh, I, I, I mean a jackass. Now, wait a minute, Jack. Jack. Means a talking mule. We've both been the victims of your ventriloquist. Ventriloquist? Talking you? You both ill. Oh, please, let's not go through that again. I mean Lieutenant Sterling. Oh, Sterling, yes, I met him and his mule. What do you mean the animal talks? What? Well, what did it talk about? Well, for one thing, it called Captain Parker cutie. Cutie? Excuse me. <laughs> the real army mule. What did it call you, Louise? I'd uh, rather not say. What made you suspect ventriloquism? Well, for one thing, he talked exactly like you. Now, wait a minute, Major. You may be a woman, but you're also an army officer, and there's such thing as respect. But it's true. He talked exactly oh, like you. Oh, Major. No insubordination intended, believe me. If anyone's guilty of such a thing, it's your Lieutenant Sterling. Why do you keep insinuating I have something to do with this Lieutenant Sterling and his talking mule? Well, haven't you, General? I'll soon settle your mind on that. Where is this Sterling? In the... in the psycho ward. What? Well, where's the mule? In the barn. I hardly believe this. This is too normal. Let's have a look at this mule. Hi, Francis. Beat it. Get lost. I just had to sneak up and apologize. Am scrape before they find you here. I suppose you think I'm a stupid idiot, don't you? With you, Pete, that's par for the course. Yeah, but I just did what you told me to do. I didn't tell you to mess up the whole detail. You know how much it means to me to win this old ball game. Well, me too. Well, we're out of the running. Man and all. Have you checked your platoon lately? How could I? We're falling apart. But why? They were doing so great. Morale, boy, morale. Yeah. When they discovered you were in psycho and they've been getting camouflage instructions from a middle case, well. Shh, shh, get the dirt. It's over here, Ben. Oh, I've had mules in my outfit before. None could ever talk. Yes. This is the beast I saw out near the conference course. And you looking creature. So you're the talking mule, huh? All right. Talk it up. This is all utter nonsense. What do you mean, utter nonsense? <laughs> did you hear something? I heard you talk. Well, so did I. Me? It was the mule. Mew, did you say something? Come on, speak up. Are you giving me permission to sound off, sir? Permission granted. Sound off. 
Well, to start with, you're a narrow-minded fuddy-duddy. You probably think the top brass of the machinery that runs this man's army. Horse feathers! Now, you take these wings. Everyone knows that women are here to stay, but not you. You got the idea they're in the service just to keep your memos circulating. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever... It's true. So, that's it. Just as we thought. Ventriloquism. You were right, Louise. On your feet, Lieutenant. A narrow-minded fuddy-duddy, huh? Pig-headed, huh? Yeah, well, no, sir. If you are, sir, I didn't say so, sir. Then don't tell him, Francis. Don't tell him he's a narrow-minded, pig-headed old fuddy-duddy. I didn't mean, tell him you said so. I'm on enough from this. You school. didn't give me permission to sound off, sir. And I sure like the sound he made, General. We won't discuss the opinions of a sick mind. This boy needs medical care. Put him back in cycle where he belongs and keep him there. Uh, now look what you've done. How could you do this to me? How? Huh? How? Well, we just haven't been the same since we found out what happened to poor Lieutenant Sterling. Don't you think you women are carrying loyalty a little too far? All right, girl. Oh. Come on now. Let's get busy. Hey, Judy. Come on, O.B. Needs you, and that means a camouflage operation needs you. But he's a man. He's also a whack. Lieutenant Sterling, I want you to join your platoon. Captain, that's against orders. Orders? This is war. And you're in the army too, Lieutenant Humbert. And tomorrow we'll be fighting your battle out there. But it is against orders. Lieutenant. What do you say? Well, it's orders or orders. And you heard me tell the captain, orders. Oh, well, <laughs> what do you want me to do? Just anything. Well, we've got to smuggle him out of here. Ask that guard. Hey, you could lend him your uniform. Why, well, yes, you could lend him. Hey, uniform. A woman's uniform? He's a whack, isn't he? Well, the way things are going just a little bit too far. Well, you want to help us, don't you? Well, maybe, yeah, well. Lieutenant, all those women need you. Uh, really? Well, I, I, I think we're going to get undressed. Undressed? Yes. Well, how much of my uniform? 
Do you think just the outside would do? Well, I don't think what I got to put inside won't do. Oh, hurry, we haven't got much time. Quick, quick. Well, I, I, don't, I don't know what I want to do. I, I, now, really? Give me your bathrobe. Now your pajamas. My pajamas? Here's the robe. Yes. And, and here's my hurry. ring. I don't know whether it'll fit or not. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's a little thing. And here's a sweater. Okay. Time to squeeze it. Here they are. Now, if I catch cold, I'm, I'm going to blame you. Oh, these are just the tops I got at the bottoms, too. The bottoms, too? Yes, hurry. Quick, the girls will be leaving. Oh, I'm so cold. Here. Oh, my. Now, the shoes are stocking. The shoes are stocking. How do I have to take them off, too, my? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's Superwoman. Very funny, very funny. I bet you got me into this. And Frey Sheep, too. <laughs> so great, but there was some time to consult with you. I believe that Lieutenant Sterling can help us. You know the low morale of second platoon and what it'll mean to have him back. And I know Lieutenant Sterling wants to help. Well, I... And he still is in the whack. He'd better come through for us tomorrow. He'll never get out of the whack. Dig up some field gear. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Woman driver. Woman driver. 
And may I get you an aspirin? All right. General, the White Army has taken its initial position at Point Abel. The demonstration is officially started. What happens now, General? Thank you, Charlie. Well, George, I'm just an observer like yourself. Unless I miss my guess in exactly 60 seconds, recon planes will be coming home from less than feet. In 30 minutes, aerial photos will be developed, and we'll have Major Simpson's lovely ladies pinpointing. <laughs> Nice going. We better contact the movie. <laughs> 
Hello, Blue. Hello, Blue. This is Dan. We picked up their trail. Over. Right, sir. Over. Hey, let's have a little camouflage discipline. Sorry. Is this your first hitch? You should know better than that. Let's get out quick before they see the smoke. Which way, soldier? Well, they must have come this way, sir. We found a girl that's comb. It's on the comb, George. Here you are, sir. It's about time those black cut down their hair and gave us some kind of a clue, sir. It might be a good boy. But I think we'd better contact Field Headquarters and see if it fits in with the plot map. Okay, let's go. Wait a minute, sir. My walkie talkie. Yes, 
Did I hear you say retreat, Captain? What else can we do? Well, we can give them credit for having some brains. They've got our rear covered and recovered. We go forward. Into their weighty arm? Into their smoky eye, yeah. A smoke screen? You betcha. Now, come over here and pick my pocket. All right, come on over, Captain. We got the whole smoke. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Over. Forward, man. Ready, grenades.